Hey, bitch, check, make a bitch sweat. I got some Gucci on. I stay in my lane, don't fuck with them. I don't know what you be on. Hot one, hot two, my blicky match my fit. I got on pink, so you know I brought them fit out of this bitch. I can't wait. Do y'all is okay? If you didn't know, then you are a. If you didn't know, then you are a bona fide hater. In order to not be considered a hater, all you have to do is go and follow me on all platforms Instagram, YouTube, anything. Just go follow, subscribe, like, comment, all of that, and let me know when you're done. Especially on Facebook, like and follow the page. Is that that hard? Y'all act like I'm asking y'all to give me a loan. Now, would y'all give me a loan if I, if I needed one? Y'all, I'm so mad. I keep on buying my nails, and I really never had this much real nail in my life. Like, if y'all know me, well, y'all don't know me like this, but I always used to bite my nails. To be honest, you can go watch my old cuts when I had paws, gonna get my nails done. I used to have them booty fingers, you know what I'm saying? But I used to get my nails done in high school. That's what really confused me about, like, other people, when they be like, yeah, she getting too girly. Bitch, I have been like this. You're not unlocking anyone that I'm not. Y'all acting like I'm a brand new person or this life that I live has been changing me, involving me into this beautiful butterfly. Bitch, I been a daffodil. I have been a daffodil. The f bitch, I been a rose. Been sprout on these bitches. I been me. Been sweet. I'm zesty gay, okay? I am boo gay. Bougie and gay, I'm boo gay, okay? I'm a, somebody told me I'm a classy gay and I, I think I like it. I think I'm a pretty gay girl. Somebody asked me, oh, she not no stud, she a fam. How in the hell I'm a fam when I ain't never worn no dress itself prom? I'm not no mother stem, fam, dim, sim. I don't give a damn. I am me. I'm a gay bitch, okay? I'm a gay funny girl. How about that? Let me just be that. Stop putting me in all these goddamn categories. I've been saying stop putting me in the categories and if you gonna consider me a stud, take the S off because it got too many rules in it. I am a tud. I don't want to be the whole stud. Y'all was too serious about this shit. I didn't know that y'all was really punching the clock about this stud shit. It's, 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 it's stud detectives out there detecting if you a real stud or not. I am gonna go to stud jail. They is gonna arrest me. And I can't do that because I'm not going to jail with no fresh set. Everybody gonna have to see these. Even though I, I need to go get my nails done, but it's another story. Y'all know when I ain't got my nails done, it means I got a trip coming up. I'm going to Jamaica in a few days. I'm going to Jamaica in a few days. Guess what can, they can't do right now? Guess what these people can't do right now? They can't fuck with me. There's a lot of people that want to see me fail, but guess what they can't do? Touch me? You can see me, you can want to see whatever you want to see out of me, but guess what you won't see? Me fail. I, man, man, I can walk on, I can talk my shit to the camera, but I have to walk off sometimes, but why be able to walk off on that camera, but I can't even fuck with me. You know how serious this shit is? You know how serious my success is? I can't even mess with me. I can't, I can't, I cannot fail. I won't fail. Who? You? You must be talking to yourself. If anybody look at me and think that I'm gonna fail, bitch, you might as well grab a mirror and look at it. You talking to you, not me. You can't fool with me, you can't touch me, you can't reach me. Mm, ooh, mm. Some reason I just feel people praying bad on me. Guess what? It's hitting the ceiling and I ain't even reaching God. Look at you, you praying for no reason. And when it hit the ceiling, you know when you hit the ceiling with something, it pop, pop, pop back down on your head, bitch. Bitch, you the type to go outside and pray on something bad on me. Guess what it's gonna do? Get stuck in the cloud, God don't want that. Who you, who you praying to? Who the fuck is you praying to, bitch? Delta airplanes, so that's as far as it's gonna go. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I got a trip to Jamaica in a few days, and um, yeah, I wanna be real sexy and fit for it. So today, I am going to do some Pilates. I, I be feeling like I'm getting stronger after I hit my Pilates. I always go there and I, I lift me some weights. I don't lift too many of them. I lift a couple. See, I'm a weight. If I can barely lift myself, you know I ain't even go there fucking with them weights. See, I don't want to be one of them. Well, yes, I do. I actually want to be a bodybuilder. I need people to look at me and think, mm, she can slam someone. And uh, I'm working hard on it. Listen, I, since the last time y'all saw me, I, I, I look better. Hold on, let me show y'all stuff. I can shake up. I can see the difference, you ain't got to. See, that's why I don't really like showing y'all stuff, cause y'all be, y'all don't wanna see too many differences and stuff. See, 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 that's what I don't like about y'all. Y'all worry about the wrong thing. Worry about the fact that I'm trying, okay? See, I'm really trying to get me some packs, you know what I'm saying? I got me like a two pack, but when I get that four on them four holes, it's over with. If I get, if I get four packs, I won't even know what a shirt is, the way I won't put down one of them bitches back on. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna take y'all. Y'all know I told y'all I was gonna update y'all a little bit. Whenever I go work out, I was gonna take y'all with me a little bit. Or if I don't, then I'm probably gonna post a little snippet of it on TikTok or something like that. So go to my TikTok and, and, and go find a video, okay? Go to my TikTok right now and go like all of my videos. They be trying to shadow ban me. I don't like that. I'm the wrong. Why y'all shadow banning me? Because I cussed a little bit? 
Y'all should cuss a little more. Maybe your sentence to be sexy. Throw a little cuss word in your sentence. Next thing you know, your sentence sexy. I apologize. I take that back. Kids, don't you cuss at all. If I ever catch a, a, a kid follow come up to me talking to me, what up, what the fuck you do, Rose up, okay? I been to grab you and pinch you up. So don't, don't never cuss to me. But anyways, y'all, I've been dropping vlogs um, lately. And I need all of my real supporters to scroll down my YouTube channel and just comment on all the vlogs and just let me know that you come in. I don't care what you come in. You come in a heart, an exclamation mark, an elbow, baby. You can come in a, a tongue. You can come in space. I don't care what you do. You come in an underscore. Just show me some love, because I ain't got to do this. It feel like I'm doing this for free. It really don't. I, I appreciate that y'all respect my breaks. I can disappear for two weeks. Y'all don't, well, y'all do be questioning me, but uh, I come back. At least I don't, I don't be gone that long. Uh -huh. I gotta get it together, okay? I'm gonna get it together. Worry about yourself. I'm trying to get my stuff together. Um, it's gonna take a minute. Now, make sure y'all uh, like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Like my channel, okay? Not like my channel, bitch. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Subscribe to my channel, comment on it, and let me know that you like the video, and I'm gonna respect you forever, okay? That's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go get me some pliers. Y'all know I'm going to Jamaica, so gotta get my nails done, gotta get my, I'm trying to see if I want my hair stay like this for Jamaica, because it is even Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of do know that my outfits hit harder when I have a retweet and they be flat down and I'm, and I'm two strands, you know what I'm saying? So I might just get them two strands on the bitch. Ooh, them two strands on the hits. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on my assistant to, I guess we gonna meet at the Pilates place. I thought she was gonna come here first, but nah, we gonna meet at the Pilates place, do us some Pilates workout and um get ourselves together. She need to get fit too. I don't know what she trying to fit. Yeah. I hope it ain't no smiles with that ass on her. I, she, everybody wanna be mad at me too because I got an assistant and she cute. A ugly bitch ain't gonna listen to a damn thing I got to say. Uh, you never, a ugly bitch, she got all this other shit to worry about. Her face and shit, she not gonna face me and listen to a goddamn thing I'm saying. I know this much because I have one. That motherfucker wasn't listening to nothing. Like, I'm goddamn, bitch. You, all, I, all I ask you to do is assist me, bitch. You can't go get nothing. And then, and then you know, when an ugly bitch got an attitude about doing something, they get even ugly because they. Oh, oh no, ma'am. You're fine, bitch. I don't like when somebody look at me like they just taste some earwax. Never mind, baby. You can, you can, you can go, 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 go find your little job, bitch. I'm lying. I, I sneak in, I sneak in free ugly folks all the time. Shoot, I'm a little cute ugly. Like I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't just got. I, I see a, a little um uh, in me, but guess what? I, I like my um. Like my um uh, makes sense to my cute. So you know, I just if you 100% ugly, I, I can't tell you nothing. Just like, just like, hey, a bitch can't tell me nothing because I got a little twang to me. That don't mean nobody else can say it. Come to my face and tell me I got some twang to me. I've been to hitch and, 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 and I tell y'all I've been to pull out my thigh. Boom! That's why we don't need to uh, fool with certain creators. I'm a different creator and I've been realizing that. I'm not no fake creator. I'm as real as it's going to get and they can't fool with me. A lot of y'all creators is out here fake. You're fake. And I want you to know that. You are what's in my book bag. Fake. You are something fake. Ha! You are not authentic. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm gonna go do my flies. And I'm gonna pack. We're gonna y'all gonna help me get ready. Y'all know how we do this. I take y'all on a journey with me and we get ready. That's cool with y'all. I don't give a damn if it's not. It's my channel and you decided to watch and I appreciate you for that. And if you don't watch me, guess what? I it hurt. It do. Cause I really be putting my all into this content. Sometimes I get depressed because I be feeling like I don't know what to do next. And then I figure it out. So that's why, you know, you know how you do, you know how sometimes you get depressed in life. Goodness gracious, I don't know what to do next. Goodness gracious, I don't know what to do. All you have to do is do in the life. It's gonna figure it out for you. Everything, the universe is gonna figure it out for you. All you got to do is do it. You ain't doing nothing to even think about something to do. Think, what do you wanna be? It don't matter, do something. But anyway, y'all, that's what's going on. What, 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 I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff together though, y'all. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Do my Pilates, I'm gonna take y'all with me like a little bit, not the whole time, but just like, like I ain't gonna act funny with y'all, I know y'all gonna see me stretch and stuff like, cause I have been on some ballerina shit. <laughs> let's get it, let's go. I ain't got kept by none, and you know. Hey y'all, I just made it to the nail salon, and um, I'm having a real rough quick morning, cause uh, I'm rushing, and I don't like to rush to do shit, but uh, I'm finna go, I'm finna go get my nails done, okay? So as we see, I got my booty fingers intact. Snatched! A bitch soul. I love my nail art. I love my nails. I. <laughs> hey, hey y'all can't lie. If you fuck around and run back with some of my Angelo poems, girl, what the fuck you talking about? M stands for mayonnaise. Because I like it. Maya Angelo. <laughs> but, uh, I gotta go through her, I gotta go through 
it now. Hold on, y'all. Maya Angelou poem. Cause actually, they they probably do gonna make, they probably gonna make some sense. Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. What the fuck? Y'all ain't gonna tell me that make no damn sense. You ain't gonna forget what the fuck I said. You, you'll forget what I said and did, but you won't forget how it made you feel. If it made you feel that goddamn bad, you might wanna remember what the fuck I said, Maya. And just the fuck low. <laughs> High and low for what the fuck you was talking about. That's why I'm looking. Cause baby, I don't, I don't. My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive. And to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. And to do so with some passion, like what the fuck is she, you know what? You can't tell me that makes sense. My mission in life is not <laughs> Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides. Just like hope springing high, still I rise, okay? Just like moons and like suns. Just like the motherfucking moon and the sun. Just like the sun and the moon, I still rise. Just like the sun and the moon, I still rise. You know what I just realized? Maya, you might be that bitch. Maya is that bitch. She said, just like the moons, like the suns, and with certainty of tides. You know the water tides, bitch. Just like hopes of spring and high, she be rising. Goodness Christ. All you gotta do is sometimes pick a sentence down. What she said, up from a past that's rooted in. Oh, y'all, I, I explained the last sentence correctly, because what she said, up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. That lady said, said, she said, she said, I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide, bitch. So I gotta go back and give the bitch another mail. I, I can't, I got to, where is, where is Maya buried? I need to go see her. She did not have to go out. You know what, now that's why that dang on porn been him to work. I want to do anybody feel like the, what the hell she said, like me. That lady snapped like she had some fingers in her pocket as she, she got extra fingers. She was snapping like she had extra. Who else was, oh, wait a minute. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave, I rise. Bitch, I rise. Bitch, she rise, I rise. You can rise if you want to. If not, stay low, bitch, cause that's what we gonna do. Gonna rise, I'm gonna bitch. Oh my goodness. Maya Angela, whoa, this lady, cause somebody gotta get that lady something else. Somebody got to dig her up and give her another medal. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Oh, I, you know what, y'all, when we was young in school in Miss Nicholas class, we had to remember that poem. I don't think that, it didn't hit me like that. I'm in the fifth grade, I should've said that then. I should have said that when I was 15 and I would have understood. Oh, that shit would have hit me young. I would have been something else. I would have been a Martin Luther King. I would have been a damn uh, 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 protester. If that shit had she had a talk, I would have been a damn rap. I, I need to write me some poems. Bitch, I'm up here feeling like rice and you right now. I write. Alright, y'all. I'm straight. You know what I'm I got my nails done. I'm gonna give me a haircut tomorrow night. I ain't gonna get it now because I shouldn't get it to, to, today because. I go to Jamaica on the uh, 16th through the 19th, so I don't wanna mess up my haircut immediately. I mess it up maybe the next day or something, and then what else I do? I need to pack. So I'm gonna take y'all upstairs with me so y'all can see what I got. And yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Got me, I made me a website for, with all my old clothes on there, stuff that I'm never gonna wear, wear again. Stuff that was like $700, I probably put it on there for like $4, $3, 50 something like that. And yeah, I'm trying to make a way for my supporters to afford things that they can't afford, or simply because I know a lot of them, lot, I'm not gonna play my supporters like they broke. I done had supporters buy me a bed before before I even got on. So it's some of y'all that can afford stuff but just be feeling like I'm not spending $700 on the night if it was on sale, you yeah, get it. I'm gonna put it on sale for you and hopefully you wear the same size as me. To be honest, y'all know I've been losing weight. So I, I came from a 30 in jeans. Now I got like a lot of 29s and 28s. I got like 28s, 29s, and 30s in jeans and stuff. Like really a small in men on clothes and like a large in like, I wouldn't say large in kids. I see like an extra large in kids. Maybe if it's, it'll be like a size 16. Cause I'm no bigger than a, a 14, honestly, like in, in a kid. Yeah, I got a lot of that stuff on that website and if y'all see something that you can afford, that you want, go get it, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, as you can see, whether y'all buy something from me or not, I still, I'm still shopping. I'm just um, trying to make it a better situation for my supporters. I'm just gonna show y'all some of the stuff that I got for this trip to Jamaica. Okay, 
Okay, that's cute. That was cute. Y'all did it. That was like, that was really handsome how y'all did it. I like that. Put a cape on my clothes, cause these hoes just to save the day. Yeah, I got this right, and it's a matching set. Hold on, hold on. Well, now this does, this is it. Okay, yeah. This is like a button down. Y'all gonna see it when I put it on. Y'all see the little collar right there. It's a real nice button down, and my nails gonna make. Man, I'm gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna be a Jamaica, so I got me some machino, shkashkano, 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 here. I got me some of them. I love me some sex, man. I'm addicted to that website. That, that, that gonna hit. That gonna hit. Tell me that ain't gonna hit. You, you, you ain't gotta tell me that thing. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't give a damn what you think I give a damn. I don't give a damn what y'all got to say. But let me know if y'all don't really like it too much because I can go get some uh, um some else. But that's one of them days that I'm gonna be down there. Go ahead on then, Javinci Winch. Rich, I like rich. You hear me? Hold on, let me show y'all the shirt. Y'all hear me? Y'all see the shirt? I don't like it. That is insane. I don't like the shirt, and I put that on everything I love. I don't, and I'm, I don't know nothing about that. See now, I, I, now I like to look like John Cena, but I don't like to look like Soldier Boy. See when I said something just to be a little bit, you know, John Cena. Don't, you tell me, I actually do like to look like Soldier. But it might go. Huh? Now I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna have to figure that, that this one out. Okay, y'all. I found the pants. Now yeah, I'm finna wear the fifteen hundred dollars I need, bitches. When I tell you to be honest, I'm gonna wear them one time. And then put them on the website and sell them for the same price. You ain't gonna be like nothing. Y'all ain't gonna even know. Shut up. Hold on, you know what? But it might go. You know what I'm saying? Like it might not have to match. It might still go. I don't know. I'm gonna try this on because this ain't even really matching to me like that. God damn it, that don't look right. I'm finna try to incorporate these shoes into my drip of Jamaica because they are giving me different. And I like Jamaica. And that's not even a make, just ain't even no mouth, that ain't no goddamn Jamaican accent. Do not cancel me, cause I, I caught it. Ha, <laughs> caught my mistake. And that's what's wrong with the world now. We don't catch our mistakes and fix them. Fix where you fuck up and maybe they won't cancel your ass. Uh, Y'all, I don't know what's going on. And I'm finna figure it out. Y'all, can I show y'all something else? Why about these Pepto being my all forces? But I think they cute. Y'all think they cute? You think these are going Jamaica, even though like, they like this ain't Jamaican color, cause you know they, they use like red, green, on um, and yellow. But like I think like if I bring some pink out there, like ah, just throw some on the on the on, just throw. They don't really do that gay shit. Do they even do that? I need to be googling where I'm going. I need to be googling where I'm going to see if they even do this gay shit. Do I need to go out there with the edge up or not? Cause if I ain't got, I don't need to. If I ain't got the pain that I want, now nah, if they got a problem with that, I'ma leave y'all. I ain't got. I'm, I'm, I'm respect that. Just like how when people go to Dubai and them folks say don't show your ass in their country, stop showing your booty. Tell me something. And you now you mad people they they put you in jail for five years for showing a little piece of skin. Then they tell you to hide it for your ass came outside. You go there, you go to the other folk country. Everybody got on a quilt, and you think you finna come out there with a bathing suit, bitch? They got on quilts. At the beach, bitch. And you think you finna be, you exempt? Go get you a quilt. Go get you a blanket. You might well call motherfucking Muriel from uh, Curry the Curly Dog. You might well call Muriel. Tell her to knit you a quilt, bitch, because that's your best bet. Anyway, y'all, I'm finna pack my bag and I'm gonna get my haircut tomorrow. I'm finna rest for the rest of the day. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm finna just get it together and that's what's going on. Okay, y'all, we just pulled up to the pumpkin patch. We at the pumpkin patch. Okay, y'all, we just made it to the cabbage patch. They said they're gonna let us in for free. Cause it's cold. But yeah, y'all, we just made it to the cabbage patch. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hey, them definitely niggas scared, bitch. You can schedule you all. Yo, y'all about to bungee jump. Show the bungee jump. Damn, yeah, like I came in and be like you. <laughs> <laughs> I could've did that. I'm gonna make the best out of my, the days that I have left in Atlanta because I am gonna be doing a lot of like, we we live we leaving in a couple days. We're gonna go to Miami. I just said we're gonna go to Miami in two days and make it do what it do. But right now, we had to see pumpkin patch because we might as well do some Halloween ass shit. We wanted to go to the pumpkin patch. We wanted to go to the uh, what else we wanted to do? The honey house. The honey house. What else? We also wanted to do some other things at like a honey place. Yeah, we have we got a whole list. we got a whole like a little line up and we trying to make sure it happened within like ten days. We really got like ten days of Halloween level. But regardless, the, the ideas that we really do got, like that other one, mm -hmm. we still do that whenever. Yeah. That's gonna be fine whenever. But we're gonna do it. I'm just trying to find me a team that's gonna be recording all our backgrounds, getting these angles. I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure y'all do that again. I'm gonna go bungee jump. <laughs> they got a pumpkin bounce. I'll tell you, I'm gonna jump. Pump.
Just put out of this damn place. You can come and ride on my big green tractor. You can go slow or you can go faster. Freak bitch, ride the dick, she do it backwards. Yeah, she a freak, I ain't gotta ask her. She gon' twerk some. Ride the dick so hard, she gon' hurt some. Ooh, ooh, and they know I murk some. And if you play with me, I'ma dirt some. You want a whip? You want a little doohickey? Mm -mm. Little doohickey or anything? We're fine. You ever heard about, um, see these right here we call these winged gourds, okay? You know about these? Mm, I never heard of them. Well, I can't really explain it, but it reminds me of the Grinch. That's what I've always thought about, or, 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 or it's like a crazy pickle. A crazy pickle, you know what I'm talking about? See, 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 here on our farm, we don't promote scariness. You know, all of our scarecrows have a smile. You know what I'm saying? See, this one right here might smile like the movie, but he doesn't mean any harm. You can tell by his hand, he got it out for you to shake it, okay? Let's get it. You're gonna need a pump car kit. You're gonna need two of them. No, it's the one. That's the one. Is there anything else over here you'd like? Ouch. I don't think Is that real? Together. Is it real? Look like they playing. Yeah, for sure. We're at the pumpkin patch. All right, child, we made it back home. And um, we are about to carve our pumpkins. Um, first things first, I'm explaining to y'all why I'm not in Jamaica right now. A lot of things had happened. I really don't understand what had happened. You want to tell them what happened? Too much had happened. It really was a, um, what had happened was, we booked the Airbnb under my cousin name. Why my cousin canceled this flight like he ain't gonna come no more? And so we was respecting him. We were like, okay, you ain't gotta come. We get to the damn, we, we, we finna do this Airbnb jump. Uh, no, we we, hit, we ended up contacting the owner and he was like, um, basically telling us that the, the if person- the main host wasn't there. If the main host ain't there. Then we can't come. Then we can't come. And the, the Airbnb was $4,000. And I couldn't expect nobody to wanna spend that extra shit on their birthday. Like, anybody can do all that. It wouldn't even be, we still gonna enjoy ourselves. We going to Miami. And 
two days. So at the moment, I'm respecting we can go to Jamaica, but we're carving pumpkins, okay? What is we gonna do to these? Don't we gotta empty them out first? Yeah, for sure. Oh my goodness, I forgot how to carve. I, I never carved a pumpkin. I never carved a pumpkin. You never carved a pumpkin? No. Experience this together. Gosh, this is so great. Well y'all, we've had us a rough day, and I don't want none of my fans or my supporters to look at me wrong or look at me differently because I told y'all I was a little bitch before I started this this shit. Y'all know my lifestyle, and y'all know what the fuck I came up from and came up to. I want to say that um, today was a very quick altercation, but it could have been avoided. I could have avoided it, and I do want to do better in life because I got movies and stuff trying to drop. I got bigger things to do. I want to be way bigger than this. I want to be a big, big, big fashion designer. I can't be playing like this. I can't. I can't. I can't be doing this to myself. I can't never indulge in nothing that I really can care less about. But as soon as they're like that, there's some in the back of my head click. They be like they trying to play. They plan me put it's something in the back of my head to tell me that and I get very upset. Now I'm gonna be real and say, okay, Flo and his girlfriend got into an altercation last week that y'all all know about. And if you be honest, it seems like the girl was trying to bring everybody down. Like if you cool with him, I'm bringing you down. And me being me, I was trying to avoid it. But y'all know me, I do music and I take my music highly seriously. I, like I be focusing on my music more than I focus on this content. So when whenever Flo comes to Atlanta, do he not go to the studio with me? And I don't make him drop a dime on the studio session because I wanted to be his manager. I told him I was trying to sign him and I wanted to see his potential. So when he came to the studio and I see that he dropped songs back to back, that boy went on the top of his shit. I'm like, and he got a lot on his mental. So I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta push brother to be bigger than what he is. Like, he, he been telling me all the time, man, I don't wanna wake up every day and do pranks. I really wanna push my music. And I'm the only person that really be pushing that boy like, hey, I'm gonna push you to do whatever you gotta do and I'm investing you. But, the situation with him and Shawty had came out, right? So I'm like, hey, you gotta fix this or I can't really work with you. And I'm literally um, telling him this. I, he was telling me the story, but he was putting holes in it. I could tell. So I ended up writing a girl on Instagram. That is why I DM the girl on Instagram. I ain't insert myself. But you can say I did as a manager, but I literally wrote the girl like, hey, call me and let me know what happened. I gave her my number that she leaked, which is, is that not illegal? So if y'all wanna press charges on me, I'm gonna press charges by my number being docked. So but let's keep going. They got into their little altercation and I called both parties to see what's going on before I bought up my country. Either way it go, I still bought it up because this was just a bad look. So, but the girl ended up realizing that, hey, I'm dead serious about managing him because I contacted her and I also offered her help. I offered this girl so much help. I'm like, hey, do you need do you need a room? Do you need this? Do you need to ride back to um Atlanta? Cause you got a whole crib here, girl. Come come home. Like, I'm literally influencing this girl to do, do better in life. But, and she took it like that too. Like, I, I appreciate her taking it like that. But then, when you realize that I'm not on internet for the kick flow with you, you kind of get mad as hell. Like, you like, oh, wait a minute, why you not? Like, hey, I guess Flo went live and, and he started talking and explaining his side. And the girl ended up writing me about it. I don't, I haven't been even talking to Flo, y'all. If I ever talk to Flo, I'm checking on his email. So, hey, bro, you good? And when I did talk to Flo, I would tell the Flo, hey, let's go get help publicly so that your fans can know that you're trying to change. You know what I'm saying? Swear to God, I can, I can literally, I don't really care to show y'all screenshots. But I made. But I guess he was on live explaining what happened, and the girl ended up writing me, and she was like, "You really gonna let him do that?" Now I'm really finna press charges, and I'm like, "What?" No, she said, "Now he really going to jail." And in my head, I'm like, "Um, let him do what?" That's what I said. I said, "Let him do what?" And she said, "Get go live." I said, "How the fuck a bitch in ATL know what a nigga in Houston doing?" She told me he said that he was on live at my house. But I'm pretty sure if Flo said that he was on live at my house, it, all the fans would have been in my DM about that, like, "Hey, you got Flo." On live, you got Flo at your house, you protecting him, just like how they was doing everybody else, just jumping on everybody. Flo never said that. I think that she just wanted me to jump into it and wanted to allow him so I can hate this man. So I literally said, I said, hey, baby, I really don't care. You can let him allow me. Um, just don't put my name in yours. Like, just keep my name out of this, like, y'all business. Because I knew that Flo didn't say shit about me. But, um, she started spazzing just out the blue. I know, um, I'm the one that got my ass beat. Why the fuck ain't nobody taking up for me? Just shit like that. Like, like, it was a whole misconstrued, misconstrued situation. I think they think I give a fuck and I don't. Like I really didn't. I give a fuck about this man as an artist. And if he can't be a, if his image is not clean enough to be an artist, then I had to go. It was just that simple. She was texting me, letting me know that she didn't want to fight me because I'm considered a dyke. So I said, okay, I'm considered a dyke. I won't fight you. I'll bring someone. Um, push come to show, we end up in the same location and I have someone with me and it's my assistant. My assistant was not gonna fight though. When I told that girl, like when, when she got pushed to show, when push came and showed, she, I was fighting her myself. I promised to God, I was literally to up with this girl for like 10 seconds. I took off my socks and my shoes. Like I'm trying to just get this shit out of the way. Shada ended up, she said, I don't want to fight no dyke. I want to fight the girl. I swear to God. So I said, bet, fight the girl. 
Cause I'm, I fuck with Shada, and I know she'll ride me and I'll ride her. If she, if I, she tell me to beat somebody's ass, I'ma do it. If, she, if I tell her to do it, apparently she gonna do it. So she said she ain't wanna fight me, she ready to fight the girl. But I can't, it was for me though, y'all. So just understand that everything was for me. I still got anger built up because the bitch wanted to call me a pineapple head ass hoe. I'm ugly, I'm this, I'm that bitch. Don't be trying to make me feel insecure by myself because I'm really pretty. But anyways, the bitch called me a pineapple, man, she called me a pineapple head ass hoe. I'm gonna take this style down. That's how, that's how fucked up I am. But anyway, she was like, she wanna fight me, she wanna fight the girl. So guess what? They fought literally for like 15 seconds. And then I'm like, like she getting her ass too. I'm like, ooh, yeah, getting her ass. Next thing I know, I felt the jitters, bitch, and I jumped in and started punching her too. Then she slunk her to the ground. And I and I ain't even, I don't even think I got a lick in when she hit that ground. When she hit that ground, I ain't touch her again. It is what it is. Like, it was barely a jump. It was barely a jump. It was really barely. Cause I don't, I don't want this jump there. So this, 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 oh, I got jump there. We not doing that. Cause that girl was whooping your ass. Built the ass before I jumped in. I jumped in because literally it was my beef and I felt terrible as I'm realizing that this girl find you because you picked her. I fought this girl. Literally, I'm like this with you. And you said, no, I don't, I don't want to fight the dyke. Why not? I'm not a man. I'm the girliest girl. Like, you could have fought me. It's the part of the way. I ain't do all that. I'm just, uh uh. This for the ugly. Uh uh. This for the pineapple head. Because you said I got a pineapple head. And I think this, I really liked this style. It's hurt and she was going through like some insanity. It's like I'm kicking her while she down. I want to throw up right now. Like, it's, I'm a, I'm a woman. Okay, I'm a female, and when I booted up with you, you said I don't want to fight the, the dyke. Like, but I'm, I'm, but then you, then you just say, what the fuck type of dyke got her nails done? She, she really just want to fuck with Flo. I wouldn't fuck with Flo if Flo was the last nigga on the Flo. I don't, I wouldn't, I, I don't know what's the bitch. The the man, the manliest man I fuck with is me, and I'm just gonna do to me. I'm gonna show you, bitch. I'm gonna show you my house. I still, I show you my three story house. It's some blood calling my phone, telling me he gonna kill me, y'all. He said, and you be slipping. I'm gonna get the blood bitches to jump you. You think you a nigga? You act like he must not know me. I don't think I'm no nigga. My song called Bitch, I'm her. You feel me? Like when we first got there, I'm booing up because you wanna fight me, right? I'm the one you talk crazy to. So I'm booing up. As I'm like this, she's like, which one I'm fine? What what else you want me to do, bitch? Me. What that girl said. Come on, sign, ho. Get off line, ho. Boon up. You I'm like, what? Who, who, who you picking? I don't want to fight the dog. I want to fight the bitch. Fuck how this shit go down. And I'm mad you scratch my face. The fuck? And you talking shit about me? Of course. A couple on. What did you got? What? What? Not, I'm not one of them. I want everybody to quit calling my phone real quick. Jump shit. You hear me? She more mad at me for not helping, helping them cancel flow. Oh, I'm not finna help nobody down a nigga that I done been around too much. Bitch, you went wrong. And I scraped her toes slow. I called him a bitch too, bitch. Uh-uh. Like, okay. She was, she hit you first, which is what she told me. She hit that nigga first. I, I ain't gonna even lie, Kay. And we we always be fighting. I ended up batting him in this shit because I seen the bitch calling his phone. And, and, and that's what you told me. So as soon as you told me that you bat him in this shit, I started reversing all this shit. Oh, she bat him in this shit. He got his lick back. He got two minute licks back. So I went over there and told him, bitch, you know... Bitch, you know you wrong. You beat that girl because, like, you ain't, I ain't gonna just sit up, sit up, I can't even sit up there and say he just beat the girl. You got too many licks back. It's me on go. Tell me, okay. They get the butt, they get the hen. I know I ain't got nothing to do with that shit still. You scratch my face. Because I'm, you crazy here. You talk shit about me on the internet. You don't think I'm finna hit your ass? Mink a mock up. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no rules in this shit. Bitch, you ain't my motherfucking sister, my cousin, my nothing. Ho. Not even my friend. Bitch, you ain't my, you're not my foe. you not even my enemy, bitch. I'ma walk past you if I see you. So I look at the situation like it is what it is, and we finna call these pumpkins. Okay, I'm gonna go up in the house, find the tape. We gonna take the face that we gonna that we wanna put on there, on there, and then we gonna get started. Can y'all see mine? Can you see mine with the bitch? <laughs> <laughs> <Really>? No. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, man. Because <laughs> you're a fucking liar. Making my way downtown. It's missing a light. A white light is not me. I do see. But we did good today, y'all. Yep. I like it. 
I had a good time yesterday carving them pumpkins and I wanted to decorate my house a little more when it came down to Halloween gear, Halloween stuff, but I'm probably not gonna get a chance to do it because in a few days, all the stuff y'all seen me pack for Jamaica, I'm taking it to Miami with me. I ain't even moved my suitcases. My suitcase is still in the back. I'm just gonna close them and we gonna fly out tomorrow. I wanna end this vlog off on a, a great note and let y'all know that I'm forgetting about everything that happened. I just want to clear the air. I wanted to show y'all all these screenshots at the end. I'm gonna throw all the screenshots in the end. I'm gonna throw the phone call in the end that I had from somebody trying to threaten my life type shit. Like, this gonna make me, I don't know, like. Hey. You gonna send them girls that they, they gonna get me right? Yeah, them hoes gonna be finna eat some enough. pussy. You gonna be finna eat some ass. Y'all need to accept the, girl, the fact that that girl is beat up and it is what it is. Tell the bitch, y'all don't, y'all don't see how insane that weird ass hoe is? I want you to go connect to some Wi Fi and call me. Victim role talking about this a nigga calling me. Ain't you a nigga? Hell, y'all. So that's why I said, What's up? You act like I, you act like I folded, bitch. What's up with you? What, what's wrong with you, niggas? Is you think y'all really think like this? Y'all nigga, bitch niggas, whoever, y'all really think that everybody is sweet and everybody just gotta fold to y'all cause y'all saying gangster shit. No, don't nobody care about that shit. You a, you a nigga though. I'm at play, bitch, you could, if this bitch said I'm a nigga, I'm the greatest nigga yeah, they gonna ever hey, find. You, you a nigga, you a, you a I am the gangster. baddest bitch you probably gonna ever find, my nigga. Bro, see that. Sis, you want me to call you a bitch then, girl? I don't know why you think I'm finna like fold to you, nigga. You ain't finna fold to me, you finna fold to these little hoes. Well, good I'm then. Fold. Listen, so I guess we got we done talking about it, ain't it? And then you be slipping every day, twin. I be everywhere, so ooh, it should be easy. You slipping, you I, slip every day. Listen, every I will second. be everywhere. You hear me? I bet you get, hey, listen, I bet you get drunk by the end of the night. I can get the fuck off my phone. Blood, your ass grass. I'm telling you right Yeah, now. be the lawnmower. Show me some. Listen, blood, your ass is grass. Listen, Crip. Oh, jokes aside, your ass is grass. You want to talk gangster? You this wanna shit sounds so good. Talking about, is this a nigga calling? The point that I'm trying to make is let's not talk no gangster shit and then beg for, try to pull our sympathy card when the gangster shit actually happened. I'm not a gangster. I'm tell y'all straight up, I ain't no thug, I ain't none of that. Like, I'm just about, I'm just a person that's gonna do what I said I'ma do. It's just that simple. Hey, I'ma show y'all. If y'all feel like sh um, I should've left her alone, let her play that sympathy card after she talking crazy to me, that's show. That's you. I was, I was finna call you a pussy, but I ain't gonna even do it. That, that's you though, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And that's fine if y'all don't want to support me no more. I see a lot of y'all coming on my videos now like, I can't support no jumping. Okay, well I hope somebody beat your little sister up and you 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 have to do something about it. So, it's just that simple. Like, stop being, so, stop being so soft. Stop expecting everybody to be like you. K, I never expected that out of you. You don't even fucking know me outside no goddamn internet. So, bitch, stop expecting shit from crap. Now we gotta just come together and stop expecting shit from creators, don't we? If I was you, I would. Now, that's just the end of all that. At the end, I'm gonna put all these screenshots in the end from every day that this girl was texting me about this bullshit. Um, the fact that I tried to, you know what I'm saying, help. I've offered her help. I told her straight up that went cool. I wouldn't on no side. I, I sympathized with her. But she wanted me to do too much, as in like, you want to, like, I don't know what she wanted out of me. She wanted, if you want everybody to hate somebody, I'm not the one. I want to be done speaking on this, but before I get done speaking on everything that I got to speak on, I do want to um address my supporters that think that I'm kicking somebody else while they down, and I said I wouldn't kick a male while they down. I made sure that I screenshotted everything for y'all so y'all can see how I was antagonized. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I don't want to have to do nothing. Okay. And y'all also think that I keep starting these things. I keep on, you know what I'm saying? But the girl also wrote me today, okay? She wrote me today, which is October the 17th, 2023, at 7 o'clock. And at this moment, it is still 7 o'clock. It's 7.45. The girl wrote me at like 7.10 or something. Whatever time she wrote me, the girl wrote me, okay? But I won't fall victim to this. See, see now, I'm a different type of... Uh, uh, I'm not no thug, but when it comes down to it, I'm a different type of thug. Bitch, I'm not finna pull up nowhere where you're 
where you do like are you st i don't know like i'm not with the meeting up or, or nothing because somebody is going to lose their life when it comes down to this situation right now this internet ass shit now the way as big as this shit got because you know what i'm saying this is too much for me somebody's going to lose their life and it will not be me okay i want us to just let me go let me get up out of this situation don't say nothing else to that girl because she playing on shooting she playing on busting she playing on handling her business she's done tussling and rustling and bustling with anyone now, I would like for her to come clean about the fact that she and that girl fought one-on-one -on -one for 20 seconds. And I jumped in. I did. Because I wanted to. You was talking to me. The shit looked good. And another thing, you kept calling me all type of pineapple head bitches. You antagonized the hell out of me. You wanted me to come so bad. I never said nothing about fighting this girl. That's why I put them screenshots in order. You said something about fighting me. And there we go. We are here now. And I want y'all to understand that I'm not bothering this girl. I've been going on my life. I done called the pump. Ever since that, I literally just continue to live my life. I ain't even really speak. I, I ain't speak on that at all. I got myself off of Twitter. Now, on Facebook, my page on Facebook is Roll It Up K. I did post on my personal page, which is Key Hood, and showed y'all that she was texting me every single day. Like, she was just texting me. Not just back to back about some bull. You feel me? And now I want y'all to know people will throw rocks and hide their hand and want sympathy when they lose the situation. On my mother, I don't care who decides to support me and who don't. But I give so many fucks about the supporters that I do have and the, the supporters that actually do decide to fuck with me that I want to apologize to any of my supporters that have ever been through any domestic violence situations. Straight up, I'm apologize to... Like, this is the real... I'm looking y'all at y'all camera eyes. I apologize to any um supporter who's ever been through a domestic violence situation and feel like I was being too light with the situation. I straight up apologize about that. But me being me, I've been through a domestic violence situation and I didn't blame nobody but me for dealing with that person for that long, for those years. I couldn't blame who am I to blame anyone else. And I wouldn't make, I'm not mad at none of my friends. My best friend was cool with the girl that I went through that with and I still... Did not blame her for being cool with that girl because that girl ain't had nothing to do with it. I will not be bringing anyone down with me. And I will not continue to think about this situation or speak on it. This is my last time speaking on this situation. And if I have to speak on it again, I will be low down. And I don't care. I don't. Because y'all are the type on this internet, hey, you have no sympathy, no empathy, no yimpathy, nimbly, shlimity. I don't care. What do you have? What would Jesus do? See, Jesus pie. I'm not Jesus, okay? See, 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 I'm not with all that. Now, I want y'all to just, you know... Everybody needs to... I don't, I don't even want to say clear my name. If I'm looked at as the bad guy, I really appreciate it. Like, if y'all just go ahead and unfollow me, unsubscribe, do whatever you have to do, and stop coming and let me know that you're going to unfollow. Okay, I'm going to unfollow you. I can't believe I don't care. Could you believe that I don't care? Apparently, you don't because you're telling me and you thought that I was going to care. I don't care. Like, I pro when you're self-made, it would not matter. I want y'all to also know that um, I'm a real enough motherfucker to let y'all know that whenever you come in, or share anything, talk to me, anything like that. I get paid for performance bonuses. So whether you come in and saying, girl, I don't like you, girl, I hate you, whether you sharing the post saying, I don't like you, I'm paid off that. And I, I'm, I'm a real one to tell you, maybe you should stop doing it. If you want to see me fail, if you really don't want me to have nothing or something like that, you might want to stay off my page. But I can tell I'm so interesting and I'm so fun as a person, you're not going to unfollow me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't did nothing to you. You know I ain't did nothing wrong. You probably just love the other person so much that you just, you know what I'm saying? You probably just empathizing, empathy, whatever it is called, sympathizing with the person. And I really get that. But I'm not doing that with anyone anymore. I've been through enough in my life, too. And I did not blame anyone or, or try to just drag people with me. I just don't want to do that, okay? And nobody should want to do that to people. I feel so antagonized still to this day. Because if I had a, like, right now, I just got texted at, like, 7 o'clock. If I pull up right now, blicks and sticks, some dead wrong. Like, leave me alone. Can I be left alone? Y'all don't think I should be left alone now? Like, if and if a person, at this point, if you want to do anything, catch me. Like, honestly, catch me outside because I'm going to be in that mall. I'm always in the mall. I love Linux. Like, for real, I might get it tatted on my neck. After, after this, I want everybody to leave me alone. Because when I tell y'all I'm in a different bracket, I mean I'm in a different bracket. I got so much. Oh my God, y'all. I can't believe what I got coming up for y'all. And I think y'all gonna be so proud of me. Like, my, my real supporters are about to be a proud of exactly, like, y'all finna be so proud of me of what I got going on. It's finna shake the world. It's finna really shake the world. And I can't wait to bring people together with this. Like, it's finna be a good situation. I can't wait to just bring people together with this right here. It's gonna, ooh, my hometown finna love me. But I can't really speak on it. 
I'm going to just wait until... Matter of fact, y'all will find out in some days. But make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't, guess what? It's fine. I just want y'all to know that... I just want to keep on proving points that I'm not an, an antagonizer. I'm not a bully. And people are trying to bully me. And I don't play like that. So... Checking in.